Hi everyone, welcome back to another session of Azure DevOps training. In this session, I'm going to show you how you can clone your Azure DevOps repo to your VS Code, all right? So I have already logged into my Azure DevOps account. This is my organization. So just to give you the demo, I'm going to create a new project first. So I'll click on new project and here I'm going to give some name. and I'm going to make it public. Here you need to make sure that it in the version control you are selecting git and then click on create. Once your project is created, you need to navigate to repos. So this repo is something that got created by default when we created the project. So I'm going ahead and I'm not using this existing repo. I'm going ahead and creating a new repository. And again, here you need to select Git. Here, uh, sample repo one, and then click on create. And also I'm going to add the readme file because initially there will be nothing inside this repo. So I'm adding the readme file, okay? And click on create. Now the repo is created. All you have to do is click on the clone button over here. And then you will see a link. And here it is by default selected on HTTPS. And SSH, you need to make sure that you don't switch it. Just be on HTTPS and click on this particular button, which is going to copy this URL, okay? So click on here and then go to your Visual Studio Code and make sure that you have opened a new window, okay? Once you're on your Visual Studio Code, you need to click on this icon, okay? Source Control. In Source Control, you will see this option of Clone Repository. And once you click on this, it is going to open this tab for you. And here you just need to paste the URL that you have copied from the Azure DevOps. So control V, okay, and then hit enter. Now here you need to select, you need to basically create a folder and select the location where you're going to keep the data of this repo, okay? So I'm going ahead and creating a folder for this. I'll select this folder and I'll click on select as repository destination. So it has already created for me. Um, now clone for me and now it is asking me whether I want to open the clone repository or not. So I'll click on open. And here you need to click on yes, I trust the authors. Okay. And now my project was public. That is why it is not asking me any authentication. If it's a secure project, then it might ask you to log into your Azure DevOps account, right? You just need to enter your username and password if it asks you to log in. All right. And then I'm going to click on yes, I trust the authors. And that's it. You can see this is the repository that I created in Azure DevOps, right? And there was just one file in that repository because I have not created and kept any code, okay? So this is one way how you can clone the repository. And there is also another way. So I'm just going to close this window, okay? And go back here. So let's just go ahead and uh, try the other option of cloning the repository, okay? So if you actually click on clone, you see this option as well, right? Clone in VS Code. So if you click on here, it is automatically going to open the VS code for you. And here open Visual Studio Code. So it opened a new window for me and you need to click on allow to add extension. And again, you have to do the same steps, okay? You need to choose a folder. So I'm going to create a new, fo new folder for this. And I will select this as the repository location. I'll click on open. I trust the authors. That's it. You can see that it has cloned the repository for me. So these are the two ways how you can clone your Azure DevOps repository in your VS code. All right. So that's it for now. I'll see you in the next session. Thanks for watching.